Hello and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Right, let's see if we can get through this episode, or this part, with as little Ave scumming as possible. Now let's keep the save scumming to a minimum, people. Because I know I can do it. Okay. Two towers out. All right. you see these muscles? So if I can basically get everybody into a position to wail on him, combine that with an all units attack order. Fly. Then I'm pretty sure. I can end him in one very powerful, concentrated volley. He said, hoping. Alright, orders. All units. Attack. Should I also order... I'll also issue an all units aim thing, which should allow us to concentrate absolutely everything we've got on the single target. And I'll still have two points of CP to play with. So, Eddie, move up so you're into sporting distance. And it's going to be Rosie's volley that actually... Uh Come on, how does everybody not have uh, concentrated fire here? You should all have a perfect line of... Oh god, he's moved back, hasn't he? He's moved back, so we're not all on... Ah, oh, for the love of... Mm. Nope. <laughs> we're going to have to do this in one concentrated volley to actually kill the son of a bitch. It means going back to an even earlier save game. Okay, that's book mode. That's the beginning. That's the one I have. To okay. So yeah, that... Yeah, we've got to go back to that one, which is right at the beginning of the goddamn mission. Get everybody into position, hit him with what we've got. Yeah, because I can take... Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I can do this, and I can do it in one thing. I need the Edelweiss moved forward anyway. So I'll use it to kill left turret. Or left tower. I need the shamrock moved up. So here's hoping that his uh, linked belt gun can take this thing out. And it can, good. So you guys are in support range. Oscar needs to take out that one at long range. Oscar, make me proud. Yes! Okay. <laughs> this is the tactic. And if I pull this off exactly right, which I might just be able to do. Nope, wrong thing. All units attack. Rosie, move up. And... Solanius, move up. Okay. If I can slap somebody right in the middle, they should be have... Uh, it's going to be uh, lies, I think. Again, if we let him.
everybody's lined up, so hopefully we should have a stupidly powerful firing line here. Okay. Eddie. All units, fire! Can't dodge it, so sorry. Yeah! Damn it, there's no supporting fire from the tanks. They're obviously slightly too far apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is getting stupid, isn't it? Okay, it's his turn, but he's all the way over there, so he'll have to move closer if he wants to screw with us. God, he moves slowly. Yeah, the problem there was the tanks were just slightly too far apart to actually be in uh, supporting distance. So we completely wasted you know, their support, annoyingly. Don't you appreciate how much effort I put into getting everybody together and then I bugged it up because I'm an idiot. Come on, move all the way up to the forward uh, point just to be nice. Dickhead. <laughs> Alright then. Let's try it again. Entering combat. Advice. Start by blowing up that. Sorry, Rosie. Now this time, let's actually make sure everybody's in bleeding supporting distance. Possibly should have gone the other way so that people would have shots at that thing. Leave it to me. No, he's not gonna have a range. <sighs> Made a mistake there. What I should have done was use the sniper to take out both of those and then have the two tanks. They are ready to uh, open fire together. Oh well. I'll do my best. Damn it, he needs two to kill that one. But he can definitely kill that... Well, balls. But he can kill that one in a single volley. Or a single shot. I mean, somebody needs to go and kill that tower over there, and it's going to have to be one of the shock troopers. Unfortunately. But I've got a few to play with, so... Miscellaneous, go. In range, fire at will. Good. I'm just warming up. Alright, how many uh I can win this. I can win this. Orders. All units. Attack. This is an order. I've almost got this. I've almost got this bastard. I'm on. Rosie, go. All units. 
fire. God, he is one tough son of a bitch. <sighs> Just hope I can squeeze one more person into that gap. God, he's so close to being dead. Rosie's getting hit, but that's okay. Okay then, I think the last shot should be the Edelweisses. Machine guns, fire! Two turns, operation complete. And as you'll see from the extra videos that I'll upload, it took a lot more than two turns last time, and I didn't even beat him. Because you're a prick. Also, you're the bad guy, and the bad guys always lose. Maximilian, you lost the moment you began to rely on the Valkyrie's power. A rank. Ha ha ha. Whew. Too right, a bloody medal awaits us for that one. At least he's taken off his stupid headdress thing. Dogs of Gallia. <laughs> it's time to surrender, Maximilian. Why would you your get out of your tank? <laughs> surrender, you say. I think you forget. Oh, you're not going to be stupid enough to. Can give our lives to fuel. A blazing hot inferno of destruction! Ah, oh, bloody hell. Don't do this! It doesn't have to end like this! Yes, it does. Our dreams are not to be. Well then, join us! Let Galia fall to ash! Somebody shoot him. Haha! Uh -huh. <laughs> what? How? Why has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. Nice to see you, Faldio. You Faldio. dick. You made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. Yeah, you could have done it earlier, mate. Okay, war crimes tribunal time. No, 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 don't do anything. No. What are you doing, Faldio? This is insane. Faldio, stop! Bonk him on the noggin and uh, take him in for war crimes. And if that thing's bonded to his arm, cut no his goddamn what? arm off. I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us. Thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell. Welkin. Alicia. Best of luck. Yo, you could have just, you know, smacked him on the noggin. And then we could have taken him in as a prisoner and, you know... War Crimes Tribunal? Y you didn't have to go for that solution. Let's face it, he's not a real Valkyra. You know, without the power of the Marmota, he's, he's just a guy in a stupid hat. Time to go. Yeah, except for that. Our way is blocked off. 
Sevens, get out of here. We'll find a way out. Go. You're going to leave now. That's an order. Uh, damn it all. Sevens, we're leaving. Get off of the Barbona. The deck's a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. <sighs> God, those two have got it bad. Right, let's move. The episode has been added. Escape. I am, however, going to save there because <laughs> screw that guy. Screw that guy and his very stupid hat. You might have noticed I have an obsession with with people's silly hats. Yeah, nothing phallic about that weapon at all. It's no use. There's no way we're getting out of this. Alicia. Hmm? Uh, Logan, look! Now, I'm perfectly willing to accept they could build a biplane. Where the hell is he going to land that thing? Timing this would be impossible. Nope, sorry, not possible. <laughs> That's the thing I'm quibbling most about in this game. Yeah, given where they are, I'd settle for the ground. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Rangrees. You might also want to let the squad know you're okay, because they're probably really worried. <laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> An arrival like that is just showing off, given that this uh, universe... Yeah, this is the first plane that's been in this universe. The 25th day of October. 1935. Only the one member of Squad 7 got killed permanently. The of the Empire's invasion of Gallia paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won yep. peace. Yep, Carisha York, deceased. Everybody else living. Feel awkward about that. Shortly after the conflict's conclusion, and its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest. We're not quite done yet. Oh, I don't think we are anyway. Nope, this looks credits-y. So yes, that was Valkyria Chronicles, and yeah, I like it. It it's you know it has its frustrations, but it's overall a pretty good game. 
Now, I seem to recall there might be some post credit scenes, but as per always, I'm going to let the credits play in their entirety. Yo, know, so, uh... I'll, I'll stop talking for a bit while the credits play. And then, uh... Yeah, so I thought some of these were uh, people I recognised. Anyway. Oh, it was Dwight Schultz's uh, George's Geld as well, wasn't it? That explains that. Yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll let the credits play out in their entirety. And I'm pretty sure there's some stuff at the end. So if you want to skip through them, you can. So, uh, thank you. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And if there isn't anything at the end of these credits, I apologise for wasting your time. <laughs> and, yeah. I will say once again, this... Uh, Let's Play was sponsored by Lee Maths. So thank you once again for your support. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play, even if I am kind of incompetent at this game sometimes. The review will be coming out on Friday evening at oh, you know, 8 o'clock GMT as per usual. I haven't actually written the damn thing yet, obviously, but uh, I will do. So, uh, yeah. I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in future series. Upon retirement from the armed forces, Eleanor began and still manages a publishing outfit. Following her marriage to Largo, her holidays are now spent helping out. Okay, didn't have enough time to actually read it all the way through. Leaving military service after the war, Largo returned to his hometown to restore the family farm. After offering Eleanor a bouquet large enough to fill an ox cart and a gold ring, ten years worth of love, the two finally married. The war's end marked the birth of a new star. Her hit song, A Love Passed On, became an anthem during the years of Galia's revival, and she now travels around Europa on a constant tour, but returns home yearly to visit Asara's grave. Zaka returned home to establish the Fosen Toy Factory to bring smiles back to Galia's war orphans. The Enigma Boss, a three-dimensional jigsaw puddle with a hundred possible shapes, is currently the hottest toy in the market. 
After returning to school to get his master's degree, Kreese developed into a passionate research in the field of aeronautic engineering. His graduate thesis has become a cornerstone of the contemporary thought on flight. A speed demon since the day he piloted Asara's aeroplane, Leon subsequently became a racer by trade. He hasn't slowed once after taking the gold at the first event and continues to race in competitions across Europa today. After the war's end, she publicly confessed her heritage, shocking the masses. Her candor won the support of most Garleans, however, and she now leads Garlia in both name and fact. She remains single amongst many marriage offers. Oh great, even more credits. <laughs> Still, I think we're, we're almost through these credits, so I'll, I'll you know, mute my microphone once again, and you can, uh, you know, watch or not watch as is your want. Yes, I'm fairly confident there's at least a little bit more. Can't remember for certain. Yes, thought so. Thought I remembered this. Mr. G! You gotta take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! <laughs> Thank you! We'll see you tomorrow! This is yep. clearly a few years later, right isn't it? Home now. Even though he looks exactly the same. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long held dream. Of becoming a teacher. Not a bad on dream. Weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. They rebuilt the mill then. Thank you for choosing Alicia's. How's business today? Hey! <laughs> hey, you. What a surprise. Now she looks Guess older what? somehow. So he doesn't, she does. Is it the longer hair? Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. Yes, I am smiling, so what? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. Of course not, they're kids. You know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Good choice of name. Oh, for God's sake! Been a good girl? Yep. Yeah. 
Mia? I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Isara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Could this ending be any more, any more sickly sweet? Yes, I am tearing up slightly. Shut up. God, I love this piece of music.